What's up everyone, Maximilian here, and welcome back to another Let's Talk where we cover, discuss, and highlight future games coming out and I have developed some excitement for and I'm looking forward to. Now this one's a little weird and it's kind of a game that had me like really doubtful for the longest time and I was like, wow, this this game looks bad. Uh, from, from the first point at which I saw it, which is back at E3 in 2011, and it's Dragon's Dogma. Um, for you guys who don't know, uh, Dragon's Dogma is actually a Capcom game, it's kind of weird. And it's something that I think their internal development team has been working on for like five years, or like the entire life cycle of this current generation of consoles, something crazy like that. And um, it was kind of funny, because when I first saw it at E3 last year, it was... I'm like, okay, this game's actually kind of cool, you're like jumping on monsters and dragons and, you know, griffins, and kind of has a pretty good art style, looks very like Lord of the Rings-ish, but kind of plays like Fantasy Star Online with a little bit more interactivity. I'm like, okay, you sold me, the, game, the game's kind of fun, even though it had like a really bad frame rate at the time. Um, but after I got done playing it, I was asking the guy, so, um, so how many people online does it support? And the guy at Capcom told me, no, it's, there's, there's no co-op. I'm like, what? <laughs> like a really confused, like, what? Uh, it's like the game feels and looks like it's designed for playing with like four people like four people are in your party You go and take down big monsters. Yeah, it would make sense, right? Supposedly that's not the game like it's a single-player game which still blows my mind And I think that's a gigantic glaring oversight for Dragon's Dogma um, And I kind of put the game on a personal back burner because like well who cares <laughs> at this point? It's like who even would bother with this game and um, from what I played, it seemed good. It seemed like it'd be great with friends, but at the same time, it's like, well, who's gonna play this if that's the case? So, over the time, over the span of time since then, games like you know Dark Souls uh, kind of really grew in popularity, and this seemed like it was gonna be the Dark Souls of Capcom. And then another game came out by the name of Skyrim, which a hundreds of thousands of people and millions started playing, and Skyrim became really popular. I didn't personally play it. I've never been a really big fan of the Elder Scrolls series, but Seeing all these people play it got me, like, kind of interested to play that style of, like, a big progressive, you know, open-world RPG game, because I haven't played many games like that, just because they take up a lot of time. But, um, over time, I was, I was kind of just forgot about Dragon's Dogma, and then there's this one video that came up in a thread on NeoGAF that said, uh, the ti that was titled, Dragon's Dogma Fence Sitters, you need to look into this thread. I was like, okay, because that's exactly what I was. Uh, went and checked it out, and there was this video from a dude at, like, Xbox Magazine telling about his story about how he plays Dragon Do Dragon's Dogma, and he's talking about how the game's actually really good, um, and how it's actually for a single-player experience, and the fact that it doesn't have co-op, it's got a little bit of co-op with the pawn system, but he was going over these amazing scenarios of him going on quests, and now you have to be afraid of the dark, and how nighttime is insane, and how the combat in the game is really insane, and then I started looking into it, I'm like, wow, that actually looks like fun. That actually looks like a game that would be ridiculously fun to play uh, similar into the vein of like my Resident Evil Let's Play, where um, I play through the game and I get the, uh, the experience of you guys involved. That seems like it could be really cool. So I started being interested in the game once again, and I started looking into the videos, and if you want to get me excited about a game, it'll be like the little things, like the animations of the characters, how fluid is the combat, how good is the game control. Even though I haven't had the chance to try it out yet, in a couple of days I think the demo is about to hit, so we're really gonna know, and I can't wait to get my hands on that. But, some of the things I was seeing as far as like the class leveling up, and the progression of your character, and the magic effects, and some of these animations look like top-notch. Like, the way battles ensue, like in, in the darkness of forests, and on a giant plane. I was becoming impressed. I was like, okay, so maybe if I can somehow put it in the back of my mind that the game doesn't have, like, co-op, maybe this could actually be enjoyable. So that's what I'm looking forward to. I'm looking forward to a game that's kind of like Skyrim, but not Skyrim, because Skyrim's kind of been playing played to death, and I'm not really a fan of the Elder Scrolls style of, of games, and I haven't really played RPGs in a while. But um, my initial impressions was that Dragon's Dogma is going to be crap, and now I'm actually excited for this game. So hopefully with a little bit of a footage that I'm showing here, you guys can kind of get the understanding of where I'm coming from. And I'm going to link to this NeoGAF thread, because this is the thread that kind of got me interested the whole time. And now there's a bunch of people, and everybody everybody who I've seen that has been shown Dragon's Dogma as of late is ridiculously impressed with how the game goes. And, man, I cannot wait to make, like, a personal character of mine. And then you can make your, like, your character that follows you throughout the whole game. I think it's called your pawn. I'm gonna totally make Doom. Like, Doom is gonna be where with me the entire game, and we're gonna go hunting dragons and all this crazy stuff and pillaging mines, and 
uh, that that actually seems like it would be would be pretty fun narrating that entire scenario. So. Let me know what you guys think of Dragon's Dogma now. Uh, if you think that the co-op is a huge, glaring oversight that's gonna ruin the game, or if you think it could be in the vein of, like, Skyrim, which is kind of what they're going for, because Skyrim, I don't think, has co-op either, um, then it could be fun. Uh, and if you guys would like to see me do a Let's Play of the demo, or a run-through of the game when it eventually comes out, if the demo is good, please leave me a comment below. But thank you guys very much for watching another episode of Let's Talk. I'm trying to think of the next game we're going to cover and the next game I'm really excited about, so if you want to see anything specific, you can also leave a comment for that too. This has been Max, and I'll see you next time. Mi escuadro.